This is a 3D image slider and it's trending like crazy in 2025. The images you see rotating here are not just images, but they are actual functioning product cards. When you click on any image, it takes you straight to the products page where you can check it out and even add it to cart. It is such a fun and modern way to showcase your products. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to create it step by step in Elementor. No plugins required. We are using a simple CSS code that I have written myself. It's completely free and you can download it from the pinned comment below. This design is dynamic, fully responsive and perfect for grabbing attention. So let's jump in and bring your site to life with this awesome 3D slider. First, we'll set up the main banner container. I'll add a full width container to the page, giving us a solid foundation. To make it pop, I'll head over to the style tab and set the background color to black. This makes everything on top stand out. Lastly, I'll go to the advanced tab and give this container the class name banner so we can easily target it later. Now let's move on to the slider container. Inside that banner, I'm adding another full width container and I'll go here and give it a CSS class name slider. All right, now scroll down to this custom CSS section and paste the CSS code that I've left in the pinned comment below. Let's rename these containers as banner and slider for easy reference. Next up, we'll create the individual timeline items. I'm adding a container inside the slider and naming the CSS class as item. This will be our first timeline block. In the advanced tab, I'll again scroll down to the custom CSS section and paste the CSS code. Here in the code, go here and set the position to one to make sure it appears first in the sequence. All right, rename the container as item. Now let's add some content to it. Select the item container, go to the widget menu and click on the image widget to add an image inside this item container. This could be a photo, icon or anything you like. Now next to the link, I'll select custom URL, go to my WooCommerce store, grab a product link from the product section and paste it into this field. This way, clicking the image will take users directly to the product page. To make this design dynamic, let's add the 3D rotation effect. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. To make this design dynamic, let's add the 3D rotation effect. Select the banner container, head back to the custom CSS section and paste the code for the rotating slider. The slider will now rotate as you scroll, giving it that smooth 3D feel. This is where things start to look really cool. Now, let's create the full slider. First, duplicate the item container. Now, for each duplicate, we need to update the CSS position. So, the second item will have position 2. As you can see, the product changes position as soon as I change the number here. I'll also replace the images with the new ones and update the product links from the left panel. Look for the product image in the media library and update. Then go back to the WooCommerce store, copy the product link, come back, paste it here and done. Now you need to repeat the process a bunch of times until you have a full slider. That is 10 items and make sure you update the CSS position for each to give them a different position on the slider. Below the slider, I'll add a content section to provide extra details for our design. I'm adding a container here, then add an image to it. From here, pick the image and hit select. Now, I want this image in the middle of these cards. So I'll select it, go to style and give it a width to around 58%. Then I'll adjust the margin to overlap it slightly with the slider for a slick look. All right, we are in the final phase of our design. Here, we will fine tune the CSS variables to customize the slider. I'm updating the quantity 
to match the number of items. Tweaking the translate Z value to adjust the circular path and resizing the width and height for the images. This code gives you complete control of how the slider looks and feels. Once everything is set, I'll preview the page to see it in action. Ensure all links are working. And if you want to make minor adjustments, you can just go back to margins, paddings, and change the CSS values until it's perfect. All right, that's it. A responsive dynamic timeline slider built entirely in Elementor without any plugins. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.